Okay, so moving on with this question, the question now says that the scientists finally looked at the changes in the production of a type of T helper cell called interleukin-17 at sites of infection. Sites of infection is produced in an ethical way. So the question says to suggest how the scientists produce sites of infection ethically. Well, logically, they must have injected them with some sort of dead or attenuated pathogen or the antigens in the pathogen. And as a result, the vaccination produced an infection and therefore they were able to see the action of interleukin-17. After producing sites of infection, the scientists collected samples of blood okay, from rats in both groups and diluted these with water before counting the number of interleukin-17 cells. So just why the samples needed to be diluted with water. And the answer for this is that you can dilute in water in order to see the interleukin-17 cells clearly because Obviously, if the concentrated solution of water, it might be difficult to see the cells because there are many cells in there. So it's either to see the interleukin-17 cells clearly or the fact that there are too many interleukin-17 cells so that by diluting them, it makes it easier for you to count them because it disperses them. The scientists found that rats that were given a salty diet had more interleukin-17. So, case 1.6 is all the information, all the information in the question about the effects of salty diet on blood, heart, kidneys and brain. So suggesting explain three reasons for this finding. So here is a suggested mark scheme. So we know based on the question that salt increases blood pressure. Okay, we managed to work that out. So what you can say then is because of the increase in blood pressure, it means that more water moves back into the venule end and therefore more lymph will be produced. So more of the interleukin-17 or Th cell lymphocytes produced, okay? So you know from this question here, that the more water moves back into the um, blood plasma and therefore more will also be drained. So you can imply that and therefore there'll be more interleukin-17. You know that salt also causes more water to be reabsorbed such less urine to be produced. So more water is reabsorbed at the kidneys and therefore that increases the volume of blood plasma or tissue fluid and as a result more of the interleukin-17 can be present and bind. Or you could say that more water is reabsorbed at the kidneys so more water moves into bacterial cells by osmosis, causing them to burst and therefore destroying them, therefore triggering the immune response. Or you can say that more water is over the kidneys, so more parts of the membrane, just antigens, are released, or there's, or there's more surface contact. Um, again, you can also talk about how the fact that there's more water, it means that more water moves into the T helper cells, so that increases their volume, making them bigger. Okay, you can even then, so because they're bigger, that means that there'll be more contact between the, lymph, the interleukin-17 and the bacterial cells, so therefore there's more of a response with them, there'll be more of them being produced, etc, etc. Bacteria has passed in, less likely to be excreted in urine, so that means that you have more lymphocytes in order to destroy the bacteria. Okay, so another thing that you can also say is that salt means that there's more action in the brain as the question sort of led you to work out so if there's more action in the brain this must or you can suggest that this must be related to the fact that more interleukin 17 is produced okay and as a result you can score two marks for saying that because you're linking two sort of unknown concepts together okay so with any sort of question they might get like this it's supposed to be challenging um but as long as you sort of try and use a bit of lateral thinking you can kind of work out are what is sort of required um but anyway um thank you for watching and good luck with your exams